Okay. So, Gene, the Nocta Macro Simplex. Get my glasses. This detector is a hot rod that doesn't cost lots of money. Move all this stuff, sorry. I'm going to just show you how to set it up. So when you get yours, put it together, you'll know what you're doing. You have left and right arrow keys, up and down arrow keys. Down turns it on. You have a pinpoint button. I'll show you that. And then this is gonna what's going to scroll through our menu when we turn it on. So let's just turn it on and let it load up. Turn it on. And it looks like that because it's going through a camera. Your, your metal detector won't have those lines on it. So right across the top first, we have different search modes. And really, almost everybody uses this one right here with the one called Park One. Let me get in there closer. Originally, the Simplex had four modes. Field, Park, Beach, and All Metal. And there's differences, but Park One gives you three different tones, low tones, medium, and high tones, depending on your targets. And that's why I think everybody uses it, even the beach people do. But I'll just show you how I set mine up. I like mine on Park One. Then I get low tones and high tones, and I can kind of pick and choose. I pretty much dig it all anyways. But, show you. A nickel is a low tone. And a low number, they usually ring up 30 in the ground. Dime is going to give you a high conductor and a high tone. So that's the difference. If I put it in field mode, which was originally just a deep seeking mode, everything sounds like this. Which is great, I can hear it, but I don't have any kind of indication out of the gate. I have to kind of look at it and see if I have a low conducting target. So we're just going to do Park 1. Don't know why they left Park 2 in there. Beach, all metal. And you can just scroll through. Over here is your sensitivity. That's done with the up and down keys. I don't have it turned up because I'll show you why. If I turn it up, I'm just going to get EMI all over the place. It's just too powerful. So we turn it down a couple. Over here is my depth indicator. Every bar equals 2 inches. That would be four inches, eight inches, when they double tap the right on the surface. Over here is my battery life, and this is a mineralization bar. So when you turn your detector on, you're going to want to put it in park one. Now down here is a menu, and I'm going to scroll through my menu by pushing this button and using my left and right arrow keys. Well, my first option is volume, so left would be down, right would be up. I'm pretty deaf, so I turned mine up. Next option is ground balance, and that's done by holding this down and pumping it on the ground. Until you hear that sound. Once you hear that little beep, it's ground balance, and you can just roll. Next option is rejected volume, so it has a speaker and nails. So if I want to hear nails, which are going to give you a low grunt, like er, 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 and a low number, like four or five, go ahead and turn that on. It's good for looking for old home sites. If it drives you nuts, just turn it off. Uh-oh. Get back in that one. So, volume of nails. Notch discrimination is done by pushing your pinpoint button using your right arrow keys to block out stuff. I don't recommend that. You're just not going to find targets. Frequency shift is next. If you are getting EMI, you can change channels. Um, and it will help it clear up. I, on most metal detectors, that doesn't really do much. Next option is your headphone volume. If you decide to go with wireless headphones later, it's done from your metal detector. Next option is vibrate mode. Right or left is either on or off. And it vibrates your handle when you get a target. 
That is your screen light. You choose how much you want. You can turn it down to save batteries. You can turn it off. You can have it to where it lights up when you hit a target. I mostly hunt during the daytime, so I just leave mine off, but for the video, we'll leave it on. And your last option, right or left, on or off, is an LED flashlight. Back there. And I'll turn that back off. So that's your Nocturne Simplex. Here's we're going to go through it, what I do. So I'm going to turn my detector on. I'm going to make sure that it's in park one. I'm going to make sure my sensitivity is two bars from the top. I'm going to go down to my menu. One, two to my ground balance. I'm going to hold this down and pump it. And then I'm going to go metal detecting. Now this button also serves as a pinpoint button and a mute button. So sometimes when you turn your pinpointer on, you're going to get interference between the two. A quick tap mutes the metal detector so you don't hear the interference. A quick tap back on turns it on. But if you hold it down, it becomes the pinpoint. And if I move a coin on this, it's going to be kind of hard to do with one hand. But I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> I'm going to put the coin right here in the middle of the coil. And it's, you're going to know. We'll just do it over here. So when it's in the middle. Can you see that? Then it will make that big loud noise. This is really hard. I guess I could do it like this. Put a target there. Gonna hold that button down when it's dead center on the coil over the target. Dead center. So now you know where your target's at. The one handed stuff was a little weird. Lots of videos on YouTube of the Simplex guys, so. Hope your son enjoys the metal detector, Gene. And that's it. Happy hunting. Let me know if I can help you any more. Have a good day. Simplex, baby.